Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel guys. If you have a vehicle guys, okay, made by the VAG Group, this one will be Volkswagen, Audi, Seat, Skoda guys. And you have a code such as uh, 01588 and you have guys the airbag light on. Stay with us guys, we'll explain what causes that and how to fix it. Now, quick introduction to the channel. Every single car we get at the shop, we make at least two to 300 free repair videos on it guys. Why? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video guys so we can keep providing that uh, free information and free videos to you. All the tools and parts that we use in the videos guys, uh, we usually share the links in the description of the video below for your convenience, so please check it out. We have this 2014 Volkswagen Tiguan that we're going to show uh, that code, we'll demonstrate that code and how to fix it. Now, one thing about this code, guys, okay, it will be the same for multiple Volkswagen, Audi, Seat and Skoda vehicles because all, that, all those are made by the VAG Group. Okay, Volkswagen, Audi Group. So, now, I will go ahead and start the car quick. I want to start the car and I will show you guys how our airbag light is on. Okay, so let me do that quick. I'll just start it shortly because we're in the garage. Never start your vehicle inside. But check it out now, guys. Airbag light, okay, will come and it will stay on. And if I browse through the messages here on the dash, I'm going to see airbag code. Okay, airbag error there, guys. So we need to take care of that. I'll go ahead, turn the light off so you can see even better and it just stays on. What I'll do, I'll turn it off. So, let me go ahead, turn it off guys. I'm going to get the scanner now and I will show you how we're going to take care of that problem now. The scanner guys that we'll be using, okay, it's made by Autel. It's amazing scanner guys, we'll have the link in the description of the video below. Nothing sponsored here, but it's a great tool. So, what do we need to do? You need to go ahead, okay, find your OBD port. Okay, and... Let me see if I can get it from here without getting off. Okay, perfect. OBD port plugged in, guys. Okay, audible sound from the computer that we have communication. Next, what do we need to do? We need to turn the ignition on. Do not start the car. Later. Okay, after that, we're going to open the computer. This computer works on any car pretty much, guys. And it's amazing. Okay, check out all the makes that it supports. We'll have the link in the description of the video below. It's something definitely, guys, that I would recommend. And all we have to do in that case, guys, okay, will be super simple. Okay, let me show you. We click VIN. We click Auto Detect. It's going to detect the vehicle that we have, guys, okay, on its own. And it's going to tell us exactly, guys, okay, which vehicle we have. It's going to decode all that, okay, and you can see airbag light will just stay on, guys. No matter what you do, airbag light will stay on. And the options that it gave us is a 2008 and up T1 or 2018 and up. Ours is the 5N generation. This is from 2007 to 2017 guys we'll click control unit so we can select just one of the computers and check it out with this computer guys you can uh, scan the whole system okay every single computer that it's in your car you can check it guys with that thing it's simply amazing we'll go to airbag number 15 this is like if you have the uh, the professional Volkswagen uh, scanning device too it will be pretty much uh, the same thing without the programming features We'll click trouble codes. The code that we have, 01588 active, which means that it's happening right now. And we have driver side curtain airbag igniter and 251 upper limit exceeded. So we're going to talk about that in a little bit. You can see live data for your airbags that will actually uh, help you guys diagnose the problem and all that stuff. Uh, read data by channel, advanced measure value, let me see. What do we have under each one of them so I can show you? Okay. Belt, belt, it's just giving you the graph here. And you can check the ohms for each one of the airbags, guys. You can check the ones that uh, has a problem. Uh, it will be here as well, that will be indicated. So uh, if you look for the curtain airbags, okay, uh, you will be, okay, you will be able to find that one as well so let me see side air back let me see if we have it here we have so many values here and there is one by channel where you can look but definitely guys a problem with the 
okay with the right uh, with the driver's side side airbag so i'll turn the car off now if you guys working on your airbag system okay you have to disconnect your car battery at least for one hour before the repair airbags can kill you anytime guys so if you're not qualified and certified do not guys do any of the repairs on your own i wouldn't recommend it uh, but consider this entertaining video not a how-to video but we will show you guys what our problem is and how we are going to fix it so let me go ahead and disconnect the car battery now so guys we have the headliner out okay on that vehicle we have a video on the channel that explains how to remove it but this is the side airbag it goes all the way from the back to the front all the way guys check it out so this is guys your side airbag now uh what we are going to do here okay let me show you battery has been disconnected either you have a blown airbag you have a broken wire somewhere or the wiring harness hasn't been installed correctly this is the wiring harness okay make sure that the pins are good everything nothing's melted because if the airbag was blown and it was replaced sometimes it will melt the wires as well and that's why you may get that cold so push it in listen that click now push that thing all the way in make sure that everything is contacting good and check for blown airbag melted wires loose wires loose connection guys somewhere and after that we're going to go ahead and see if that takes care of our problem now car battery has been reconnected what i'm going to do now okay we'll go ahead okay let me turn the car on okay i'll try to start it and check it out airbag light will stay on guys okay airbag light will stay on that's fine what we need to do turn the car off turn the ignition back on now we need to go back and reset the code okay oh let me see i got caught here so how we do that okay pretty simple escape trouble codes check it out now the code will say inactive or stored something like that once we connect again to the car computer it's going to take a little bit of time because car battery was disconnected okay it says passive sporadic means that it's not happening at the time guys we're going to click clear dtc yes yes and now no fault codes detected and if i go ahead okay and start the car check it out now what's going to happen okay airbag light will not be on anymore that definitely guys took care of our problem thank you for watching guys please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time